let's talk about some real art here, the kind of artwork that makes you stop and think you're seeing double. It's so present that you swear you're looking at real live people, not sculptures. Carol Fiorman describes her work as hyper-realist sculptures, and she's here to talk about her public artwork. Now, school us for a second. <laughs> hyper-realist, what do we mean by that? Um, it's hyper real is when it's re it's more real it came from um, photorealism okay. and that's when painters were doing um, paintings that were they would it start they started with paintings that look like photographs well a sculpture a sculptor takes realistic subject matter and makes it as a three-dimensional sculpture such as this. And we're looking at some of your artwork here. We have to realize that, no, these aren't women hugging beach balls. This is your <laughs> artwork. And we have some here in the studio that I'm looking at. I'm absolutely mesmerized. Where does this come from in you? Thank you. Well, um, they're pieces they represent. Um, this is called Survival of Serena. It represents um, serenity, but it also represents um, survival and women surviving. I did it for the Venice Biennale originally. And that's um, a very big festival. Be yeah, and now it's in Petrosino Square. Okay. Um, the pieces are done for my New York show. You have a big one coming up. Yeah. Let's talk about that New York show. What are we going to see and where is yeah. it going to be held? I've been working a couple of years getting ready. It's at Jim Kemner Fine Art, okay. 23rd and 10th, and it's November 8th. I hope everyone can come. Well, you, you, we're going to let you brag a little <laughs> bit because there are some very notable people that own hyper-realist artwork from you. Go ahead and give us the list. <laughs> well, the Clintons. We the Clintons about own them a piece before. of this. They okay. have two pieces. Hillary has one and Bill has one. Kissinger's, Emperor of Japan. Um, so, so many you can't yeah. count. You've lost count. This has to be a and time. And big art collectors, too. Like, well, of course, but it's a time consuming endeavor. How long does it take you to finish something like this? A couple of years from start to finish. Wow. Um, the big ones are anywhere from 5 feet to 15 feet. I'm doing a, uh, a piece now that's. It's 14 feet of bronze, and then when it gets installed on the pedestal, it'll go up by 18 feet, and that'll be for the Peekskill project on the Hudson River. Now, and the public artwork has to be very dear to you because this is seen by millions in this city. Do you feel like you have to cater to the masses, or are you able to stay true to your vision? No, I'm, I'm true to my vision. I think that um, the masses... Uh, my work invites the masses to the vision. I mean, it it draws them into what I do, and that's it's really important for me to have the viewer complete the story and have it mean something to someone who's looking at the work. All right. Well, Carol Fuhrman, we'll have our viewers check you out in November. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. All right.